Hey, what's up, fellas? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fuel Fishing Channel. Today is April 14th, 2016. It's a Thursday. It is almost noon right now. The weather is looking really good, about 60 Fahrenheit, though water temperatures are still, you know, in the 50, 50 to 55. So today we're gonna do some multi-species angling, okay, here at the Wissahickon Creek. Uh, Wissahickon Creek is a beautiful place. I have caught plenty of different species of fish here in the past. And you know, as you guys know, or we may, may or may not be aware of, they do stock this place with trout here for the spring season. So you know, <laughs> let's see how many different species of fish we'll be able to catch today. I am going to be using my ultralight setup with some night crawlers, you know, and just walk around, catch some fish. Stay tuned. Fish on, what we got here, first fish of the day. Oh man, first fish of the day turns out to be a miniature smallmouth bass, yeah. <laughs> but you know, one of the fun things that I always tell people about micro fishing is that you get to see different species of fish in all stages of their life. So you know, check this out, huh? this is a very small smallmouth bass, the Micropterus dolomiel beautiful colors on this little fish all right let me take a few photos and then release this guy all right species number one of the day the small smallmouth bass but you know what they say right if there are small ones there are big ones around that's how it is see little fella right over there nice fish you know and folks like i mentioned at the in the beginning of the video i'm just using a little night crawler okay a small piece of night crawler but today on a size 8 mustad hook okay four pounds berkeley vanish fluorocarbon line and i'm using a size 8 because you know the fishes here the wissahickon are a little bit bigger if i use a 10 or a 12 they would swallow real easy so i'm going with a size 8 first species of the day is smallmouth bass very small one but it counts as a species let's see how many different species we can catch today Fish on. What the hell? This is not cool. This is the bullshit we have to do usually to get to our fishes. There we go. Yeah, to get to this fish here, that tangled himself. Here, I had to go, come all the way down. But here we go, we got the second, second species of the day. Oh boy. Whew. The red breast sunfish, Lepomis, Lepomis auditus. Let's take a few photos and release this fella real quick. All right, took a nice photo of this red breast sunfish. Didn't keep him out of the water very long, you know, so we are actually uh, quite good to go. Whew. Just gonna throw him right next to that rock there. There we go, happy goes. Second species of the day. Let's see how many more species we can land today. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Fish on, fish on. This is a better one, this is a better one. Whoo, yeah. Man, that fish was super smart too. Dude, when it saw the night crawler, it didn't go for it right away. Wow, see this molly is a little bit bigger. We'll try to get it over here. Yeah, right on. Full night crawler, man, for these guys here. See that? What a beauty though. Any is molly is a good as molly in my book. Come on, come here, come here. Yeah, that's a beauty right there. It's a beauty, beauty right here. Come on. Can't reach it, can't quite reach it. 
Man, my position is not very favorable. I'm on top of a rock, by the way. There we go. Yeah, it's getting a little bit, a little bit bigger, huh? It's a little bigger, huh, fellas? Check this out. This one was very finicky too, all right? When he saw the night crawler in the water, he didn't go for it right away. You know, very finicky, very finicky fella. A little bit bigger. We can catch something bigger than this here at the Wissahickon Creek. Although, you know, for the Wissahickon, this is like your average, your average size smallmouth bass. Let's take a few photos. Wow, look at that gorgeous fish. All right, let's take a few photos and release it. All righty. All right, we got a nice photo of this smolly right here. Got to release it. Beautiful fish. Got a few nice shots of this fella here. Definitely a gorgeous sample. Gorgeous fish from the Wissahickon Creek. This is to show you guys that even a small creek like this in Philadelphia actually has a fair population of smallmouth bass. Oh man, he was ready to go. All right, let's try to catch another one. Thumbs up. Finally got a fish that is a little bit bigger. Hopefully we're gonna catch bigger than that today. There's a nice smolly right there. Let's shake the night crawler a little bit. Nope. What the hell? The other fish got the. The other fish got the night crawler. Whoa, fish on! Man, not the smolly. You see, it's it's hard, folks. The smolly is down there. But before we can reach the smolly, all these little fishes come up. Yeah, red breast sunfish here. Nothing, nothing wrong with the red breast. We caught it today already. And now the, the smolly got totally spooked. So, you know, there we go. Bye bye, fish. We'll have to try to catch it now. Feel something got my night crawler. Fish on. Fish on. Third species of the day, maybe? I think there's a rock bass. Oh, crank it up on four pound test. Third species of the day. We got here a rock bass. The Amblopletes rupestris. Oh, trying to catch that smolly right there. Four of them. And this guy always gets to my night crawler first. It's freaking unbelievable. Look at the size of this mouth. Yeah, whole night crawler is no problem for it. All right, let's unhook it, take a couple photos, and release it. There's no way I can release this guy nicely here. I, I'm not going down there and risk falling, so I'm just gonna throw it back. Some folks have been criticizing me for throwing fish back, saying that it hurts the fish. No, it does not hurt the fish. Surface tension from this distance is not enough to damage fish. If you guys want to, you know, read more about it, feel free to read my scientific post on Edge. I'm gonna link it in the cards, you know, it's in my blog. They do not get hurt by dropping, you know, by getting dropped from this distance, okay? And as a matter of fact, you guys should know that sometimes people even stalk fish through airplanes, okay? Much higher distances, they don't die, all right? They don't get injured. All right, back to fishing. Big red breast. Holy moly. It chewed on the night crawler like it was nothing. Then spit it out. Fish on. Fish on. Think you can fool extreme fillet fishing? Now this is a trophy red breast right here. Trophy red breast from the Wissahickon Creek. You guys see this? As big as my hand, huh? Yeah, you can squirm all you want, fish. You ain't gotta get away from the Asian kid now that it got hooked by its hook here. <laughs> yeah, well, don't worry, I'm gonna really just swing off. All right, folks, so there you go. Trophy, trophy red breast sunfish here from the Wissahickon Creek on the whole night crawler. Yes, you guys can take a look at this fish. It's a beautiful sample, beautiful fish. Okay, the Wissahickon today here producing for the multi-species angling. All right, time to release this little guy. Since this guy is kind of big, I'm kind of gonna leap it too. You deserve to be lipped. There you go, huh? Beautiful fish. Wow. Whoa. All right. Splashed by whole GoPro here. 
<laughs> it was ready to go. Fish on what we got here on the spinner. What? What a rock bass! A big rock bass, too. On the Johnson pink spinner, pink power. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. All right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 rock bass. I got it. You're, you're seeing an Asian, so what? There we go. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful little rock bass, folks. Yeah, there we go. Ready to go. Bye bye. Maybe there's something here. Fish on. What we got here? Is that a trout? Ooh, no, it's a smallie. <gasps> it broke off my spinner. Oh no! That fish took away my Johnson. That's the only Johnson I have too. Man. Ah. Thankfully I ordered 10 of those. I feel bad for that Smalley though. That Smalley got a Johnson, a pink Johnson in its mouth now. But you know, thankfully I ordered 10 of those. They should be at my house soon. Well, I guess back to the EP series. Ah, Thomas EP series. It's your turn now. Your turn to shine. Fish on On the spinner On the spinner Three jumps I knew it. These are all browns. These are all brown trout. That's why the power bait wasn't working. You see that? Power bait wasn't working because these are all brown, man. So I gotta go for the spinner. Maps. There we go. All right. Fish on. Fish on. Nice trout. Nice trout on the spinner. Whoa, pulling a little bit of drag. Right on, it's a brown. They pull drag like this, you know it's a freaking brown. Four pound test line. Gotta take it a little bit easy, you know? Had a full of power here. The whistle he can. Well, I'm taking this home, I'm taking this fish home to, for dinner, so, you know, uh, I don't care if it gets dirty or not. But there we go, nice sized brown trout right here, as you guys can see, beautiful, huh? On the Aglia, Maps Aglia. You guys saw, I started the day with the Johnson, lost the Johnson. Went to the EP series, the Thomas EP series, lost the EP series. So, you know, now the only spinner that I have left is the Aglia. That's why I'm using it, you know. But thankfully, I found a little spot where the fish are actually biting on the Aglia. So, you know, that's, that's beautiful. I'm gonna take this home, this home for dinner. Maybe a cooking video coming up next. Fish on. Fish on. Maps inline spinner on fire here with the brown trout. I started using power bait. None of the trout were hitting. Switched to the spinner and now they're biting like crazy. This because this is how brown trout are. You know the salmo truta. Wow, look at this, eh? What beautiful colors on this fish. 
And thankfully, the Salmo Truta, the brown trout, tastes better than the rainbow, actually. So, you know, that's a big bonus. Let's catch some more. Fish on. Fish on right in the current. Come on, come here, come here. Wow, man, this, this fish, this fish are fast, man. Feist, feisty and fast. What is this, a brown or a rainbow? That's what's going on, it's a brown. Yeah, brown right in the current. There we go, beautiful. Hit right in the current. Whoa. All right, and this concludes my adventure for the day. You know, I'm all good with the trout now. Time to go home cooked and up i'll see you guys next time and the trout says stay tuned stay tuned on extreme fillet fishing more videos coming up you heard that tie lines until next video fellas and today i'm here with johnny boy from johnny boy fishing tell us tell us a little bit what is going to be the plan for today right. the plan is to catch our trusty old channel catfish we do get in some, some, you know, bait, especially a white perch or American eel. We'll be using that for bait. But as of now, we're starting off with night crawlers just to catch us our bait. Right on. We'll work from there. We'll work from there, man. You guys heard the guy doing a nice freshwater collaboration here with Johnny Boy. Since Johnny Boy is gonna take me saltwater fishing more this year, you know, so expect some freshwater videos, collaborations with him. Expect some saltwater fishing videos too you know some gator blues and some other stuff that is coming soon